Over the years, Clabber Girl has been a part of the Terre Haute community, sponsoring everything from softball teams to bowling tournaments. And of course, there's the annual Clabber Girl Country Christmas event. Dana Winkleplek has more on how Clabber Girl has helped shape this city. Oh, thanks so much, Mike. Holman & Company has been formed since the 1850s. One of the most famous products became Clabber Girl Baking Powder. One look around the Clabber Girl Museum and you can see the long, proud history of the company. In fact, the building itself dates back to 1892. Over the years, we've celebrated that rich history. We're absolutely here because of the people that were here before us, and being able to celebrate that is great. Francis and Herman Holman formed Holman and Company, but it was not until 49 years later the company started manufacturing baking powder. Clabber Girl really became big once Tony Holman Jr. started a nationwide sales campaign in 1930 to promote the product, delivering it to various parts of the country. Yeah, that's the same guy that purchased the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Space, though, eventually got tight, and in 2006, Clabber Girl announced an expansion of its manufacturing plant downtown. It's um, just a great opportunity that we're happy to uh, be investing further in, in downtown Terre Haute. There's, there's something very special, I think, about a native, homegrown Hoosier company with all those years of tradition that's still here. A few years later, we got a sneak peek behind the scenes of a very busy production area. We manufacture um, over 200 different products now. Most of most people in Terre Haute don't even realize how many products we manufacture. And in an effort to reach more people and help them learn about the company, the bake shop and museum opened in 2003, a museum people continue to enjoy today. And for those who are old enough to remember at one time, Clabber Girl actually painted its logo on the side of barns as part of its advertising campaign.